YouTube, what's going on, as you guys know, I am True Tris, and I have an awesome video on me sharing with you guys 10 epic changes that happen from the beta version of MCPE to the real version of MCPE for the 0.6.0 update. But before we get to the video, make sure you guys go ahead and smack the like button. You guys have actually been destroying it lately. Let's try aiming for maybe a thousand likes on this video. That'd be so epic if we're able to get that. But anyways, getting to the video here. So the first one I want to talk to you guys about is all the menu changes. There's been some great deals over the course of the last couple of weeks, especially leading up to the final release of the 0.16.0 update for both iOS and Android devices. So obviously the most clear one is of course all the brand new add-ons and what the menu did, um, how it changed over the course of time, including the global textures and the global resource packs. So if you guys do not know, the original way how we originally put on add-on packs or uh, put on these resource packs was just through the global textures in the main menu. That was the only way we could actually do it and we would actually put it on into the game which would change the entire format of any map we actually loaded. It was still a great deal. We still uh, found this thing to be very quite useful and easy. However, a lot of things did limit us from achieving the full add-ons and behavior packs because eventually what Mojang did was they separated the resource packs as well as behavior packs instead of us combining them both into one pack and using it. So we we're only limited to both using either um, the behavior and the resource pack at the same time and we cannot separate them. So that was one change. Another change of course in the menu section is the addition to two other features which include the cheats uh, add-on, I should say the cheats feature option um, as well as the always day option. I've always wanted this always day option into MCPE because we actually found out in a uh, council version over the last, um, i say like year or so when we actually had the addition to having uh like to be the actual host um like privileges how we could always set to always day i was kind of jealous because i always thought that it'd be kind of cool to have that for mcpe so of course they actually added that which is always really really cool the first biggest change of course was that the wither boss did not work in the first couple of the beta builds which is actually a very big disaster in my opinion for mojang because i think that was like one of the biggest things it was of course called the boss update and it, <laughs> the biggest boss of them all was not functioning correctly so that was the really 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 first big change that i really want to like just get out of the way of course but now we can actually use wither bosses obviously Obviously. and not only can we just use them but we can actually use them for add-ons too which is super super awesome then we have the addition of cheats cheats of course it's kind of misleading in my opinion because cheats sound like it's like a bad thing but actually cheats are mostly commands I wish they would just like change the wording of it from cheats to commands because I guess this is like the closest thing we have to command blocks and MCPE which personally I mean, I like them a lot. There's still a lot of stuff we could probably add into these commands. I'm assuming that they're going to be putting in more features into these cheats or these commands in the near future. So I'm pretty excited to see what the future holds for that. But regardless though, I'm still very, very hyped about these things. They're very, very useful. Especially if you guys are messing around in just a creative world by yourself or with your friends trying to teleport. You know, it's so much fun to go ahead and just use these things and spawn items that you actually need right into your hand. Which is pretty epic if you guys ask me. Another change, we actually got a couple new blocks that actually got removed. I'm sure you guys are aware of these, but if you guys did not play the beta version, maybe you guys are straight iOS users. And you had no idea that these blocks actually existed. It kind of makes sense that you guys didn't know that some of these blocks got removed move the first one of course is the allow block um, this one is only spawned using your cheats or your commands in game um, and you can only hold it you were not able to place it unless you put it into a picture frame which is kind of unfortunate but it is what it is the second block of course is the deny block and the deny block was the exact same thing as the allow block where you had to only spawn it using the cheats or the commands it was not in your inventory and in order for you to actually access this thing you can only put it into a, a picture frame too the reason why they had these things which i'll explain in a little bit too was because this is in technically the education 
edition version of Minecraft. And I don't know why they implemented it into MCPE. It might just show you guys how closely the Education Edition worked with the MCPE team. But I don't know if it was just a mistake that they, add the, that they added these blocks in or not. But I don't know. We'll talk about that in a little bit, though. Uh, the next big change, the next big item that actually got removed and the big change from the beta version to the full release was the camera. We've seen the camera many, many times in MCPE. And this is something that's kind of cool. I personally wish they would just keep it in there because how epic it is. So pretty much you can spawn the camera using the same thing using your cheats or your commands. And then you can actually place these things. Which is pretty awesome, if you guys ask me. And then you can actually take a picture with it. And when you take a picture, your screen like shrinks down into like a widescreen view. Um, which, I don't know, it was kind of cool. It was really, really cool to see these things come up again. I know they were in the past couple of updates, a couple of the betas. You could actually access these cameras in MCPE. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have already messed around with these cameras in the past. But regardless, though, I still think that would be kind of cool to use these things again, once again, in like a full release of the game. And personally, I, I wish um, they could just kind of listen to the community and say, yo, let's put them in there. We won't say a word. We'll just keep the cameras in there. And the only way you can access them is either through the commands or the cheats option. You know, I, I don't know what really would affect us. But regardless, though, it's still cool. And I guess the camera was part of the education edition at 2. Because what they want to do is with the camera, a little behind the scenes action is the whole purpose of the camera nowadays, for, especially for education edition, is for people to, in the classrooms, make builds, and then they would use the camera, take the picture with the camera, and then they can show the teacher in real life what kind of build they made or if they followed the direction, and the teacher can verify their builds using their camera too. So that's a little bit behind the scenes. Um, once again, it's an education edition feature. I guess it's now an exclusive because they removed it from MCPE, which is kind of a bummer. But we could probably see this thing happen again. We probably can see the camera appearing maybe again in a beta form or something like that. I'm sure it's not going to be the last time we see the camera in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Okay, so then the next other item, of course, is the portfolio. The portfolio is where we were supposed to be able to see the pictures. I was not able to see the, any of the pictures that I took in my portfolio. I don't think they like coded it like the full extent how they could have. But regardless, though, it kind of goes on the same line of the camera of the, it was in the education edition but they finally removed it for the full release of the 0.16.0 update and they even removed it in the previous 0.16.0 um like beta like 2 or beta 3 i believe they, they removed it even earlier than that so that was kind of a bit of a bummer all right the next big feature that was a big change of course was the npc villager and they actually made it, I don't know why, but they actually put it in your inventory, where you could actually take it from your inventory and uh, hold it in your hand. And this thing was kind of unique, because you were not able to place the egg, you weren't able to spawn um, whatever the mob was, like, on or by itself, just like throwing it down at the ground. You actually needed to find either a spawn, uh, like a spawner, like a mob spawner, or use a dispenser and with the dispenser then you're able to go ahead and throw the NPC villager in and then they would automatically spawn for you guys this was kind of interesting too because once again it was in the actual um, 0 0.16.0 beta and it was a education edition uh, build where it was only meant for the education edition and I did a little bit of like some game testing on the education edition with these guys and these NPC villagers are supposed to be people that you could walk up to and that you can like you don't really talk to them, but you uh, you just walk up to them, and then they'll have a little message on uh, on the screen for you, like they tell you exactly what to do, what to build. And this case was not the same thing. It was like they were just there to be there. They're almost just useless, just like like regular standard villagers. Um, so I mean, it was kind of a bummer. They were just kind of like a retextured villager in a sense that had no purpose really in the beta form. But regardless, though, I think it's still pretty awesome that they added it into the game. All right, so the next um, features I want to talk to you guys about resolve around the realms. I know a lot of people wanted me to um, showcase some more realms on my channel, and I plan on doing some more realm streams. Um, I, I just been super super busy lately. Um, there's been a lot of games that got released. I'm trying to play all the games, you know what I'm saying? But regardless, though, I will stream realms once again. But anyways, another big change, of course, that happens around the realms of world, where the realms, the startup screen, of course, you guys are aware. And we first saw this at Minecon, where they actually changed the startup screen to realms, 
And this wasn't because the beta form they um they did disable the whole realms. I don't know um if it'd be kind of cool to have kind of like a little test realms, but they actually enabled it. So the actual build of the realms, um, the, the world when you start up the world. Of course, they have a new startup screen. It's like a purple screen now. Personally, I think it looks really really cool. If you guys ask me, so that was a really big change. Uh, also, too, they added in the use of mods. So now you can actually make moderators in your actual realm. Um, so that's really awesome. I've been utilizing that quite frequently lately So you can actually go ahead and change that so the the moderators are actually able to moderate your realm uh, World so that's pretty cool. It's one of the changes we actually need There's still several of little little things that I think that they should add into MCPE realms it's still not like a hundred percent like Amazing like there, there's certainly some things you can actually do um, which I personally wish they can add in I made a video kind of talking about that But I might have to make another video like kind of addressing it again after this whole update because the last time I made the video about these changes Of course, it was even before the 0.6.0 update. So yeah, regardless though um, These are the, some of the changes I did notice there of course were some other ones that I could address too Of course you can add add-ons into the game um, in your actual realms. So that's pretty awesome But if you guys see any other changes you guys noticed and uh, you guys want to actually tell me about them make sure you guys go ahead comment them down in the comment section also to be free to go ahead and shoot me a tweet if you guys have some other changes that you guys want me to talk about in another video but anyways my name is true Triz. I hope you guys did in fact enjoy today's video if you guys did make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like subscribe if you guys are new around here and uh, we'll catch you guys in another video until next time have an awesome day and uh, remember stay true peace Make sure to subscribe if you guys have not already and hit the little gear button to turn on notifications. Once you guys do that, you guys will be alerted every single time I upload. Have an awesome day. Stay true. Peace. Bring it back. Don't be shy, go and subscribe. Go.